friends welcome back to my channel today I'm doing my second side hustle cash stuff whoa my second side hustle cash stuffing that's a lot for the month of September and today it is my Etsy paycheck and I did take home $180.19 in total today I'm stuffing 180 of those dollars in my business binder and some of my other envelopes so this is my business expense binder. If you're new to my channel, I use it to budget out for my different business expenses and make sure I'm putting money back into the business to make it sustainable and run itself so I don't have to use my own money to keep it afloat. And I think it's really important. So if you are new to my channel and you are thinking about having your own Etsy shop, I would definitely recommend having some sort of saving system that works for you. This is what works for me. So first up today, we'll just count our money and make sure we have 180 here. So today we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 175, and 180. And then we will just set it up and we will get going. So I wanted to film this video earlier today, but when the lighting was better, but I realized I was out of ones and I decided to go to the bank. And then I didn't make it to the bank before it closed and I'm having the same issue and here we are. We're just going to stuff my envelopes without the ones and we're gonna make it work. So I made a few small adjustments to my budget just to make the numbers make sense because I need to go to the bank tomorrow when it opens. So first up, we are going to stuff taxes, which always gets 30%. And of this paycheck, that's $54. But because of the one shortage that I'm having, I'm going to put in 55 and you'll see why, because then we can take out a one. Yay. Um, so we're going to put in 55. We're going to take out one. And then we'll move these down a bit. But now we have a dollar. We'll be getting more shortly. And let's just add this in to my taxes money and count it up. So now in taxes, we have $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 in the bank in my high yield savings account. And then we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 410, 415, 420, 421, and 422. So we have $3,422, I think I said. Yes, this is why I'm glad I fill out my other trackers ahead of time so I don't have to recount. So that is everything we have in taxes, which is mind blowing. So thank you all so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to be needing to look in for to a CPA and I started doing a little bit of light research, but I wanna do a bit more before I reach out to anybody. Products today is going to get a $20 bill. So we'll put that in here. And now we have 20, 30, 41 in products. And I do need to purchase a few things. So I will probably go ahead and do that before the next side hustle stuffing video. Equipment today is getting $10. And if you're not new to my channel, you know that I am stashing up some money for Black Friday because I do wanna purchase um, some equipment during the sales or Cyber Monday. So I'm just trying to stash as much as I can here and get as much equipment on a budget as I can. So now in equipment, we have 100, 150, 160, 170, 180, 185, 190, 191, and 192 in equipment. Uh, 192, I should have 190. What? 150, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 92. Where did these, did I? Maybe in the two dilemma, I ended up putting them in the wrong. What in the world are these twos doing here? I have no idea, but I'm only supposed to have 190. I have no idea. We're just gonna ignore it. I don't know where these came from, but we'll put them in here for now. Literally don't know what's happening. Okay. Anyway, 190 is what we were supposed to have. And I these are some mysterious twos that I don't know where they came from. Shipping is not getting stuffed, but we have 50 or 50, 20, 30, 35, 40. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. 
couldn't tell you what's happening. So it's $40 for shipping. Office is supposed to get $3 today and we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, and 67 right now. So if we put in three, that would mean we could add a five and put those down. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70 in office. So that is also right. So still no idea where the mysterious twos came from. Or the ones, I guess, not twos, but oh well. All right, marketing has 50, 70, 85, and I'm going to the post office tomorrow morning to mail the giveaways. So I am going to use this tomorrow. And then bills is getting $20 and I'll just pull all of this out for now. So in my PO box right now, it is fully funded for October when that will hit again. So that's 50, 70, 71, 72, and 73 for my PO box. Cricut, we did already pay. Um, my next payment is not until next August. So that was a goal accomplished. And then next up is my year subscription for Canva. And this is where we will add 20 today. So now we have 20, 40, 65, and 66. And the reason it kind of didn't go up as much as probably you thought it would is because my monthly amount for Canva is $13 and that did come out um, a few days ago. So I did pull that from here and now I'm adding 20 and I'm at 66 and my goal is to get to 120. Um, and I said September, but I don't think I calculated for the fact that I'd still have to be paying the monthly. So let's see. So we're gonna be at 66 today, or we are. And I have two more side hustles. So that's 40, so we'll be at 106. So really it's gonna be October before we can purchase this, but maybe we can purchase it before it hits because it hits on the 10th, or I'll just double fund it by the end of September. Or maybe I'll double fund it with my YouTube check. I don't know, but we have 66 in here. And then we have 73 in the other. So we have 139 in total for bills. And I'm trying to get the yearly subscriptions because you do save a bit, but it does take, it's kind of annoying saving up to pay for them. But once I have them, I think I'll be glad that I do. And next up, we'll be saving for my year subscription to Amazon, or I already have a year subscription to Amazon. So it'll be saving for my, that payment, which will be in April. And then I do want to save up to afford QuickBooks to kind of help me with my bookkeeping for my business expenses because I have a feeling my future CPA will encourage me to do better bookkeeping. So that is it for my business binder and the rest for me is take home pay. And we are stuffing student loans. It was another low paycheck and I almost didn't stuff them, but y'all know I didn't stuff them last time. So now I have to because I feel guilty. So we are doing $10, even though the goal is 20, but I'm acting like this is some failure. This is still a win. I'm just a little down because I wanted to put more, but I didn't make as much as I thought I would, but that's okay. So $10 into student loans. We are grateful for anything we have. So let's see what we have now. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, and $500 towards my student loans. Um, which are in forbearance right now. So they are not collecting interest and I do not have to make monthly payments. So I'm just stashing the cash here in case the government decides to ref or not refund, forgive student loans. Refund would be nice though. So yes, that is it for that. And then for Texas, I also am not able to do the full $50. So I'm dropping it to 30. I also think I way over budgeted for this trip, so I'm not too stressed about it. Um, so yeah, we're doing 30 today and we are going to, wrong category. We are going to add it to my food envelope because that is the one we are focusing on right now. So by adding in 30, now in my food category, we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 450, 455, and 460 in food. 
which is good. The original goal was 700. Um, and I think I'm there 10 days. So 700 divided by 10 days is $70 a day, but I did budget for food for my friend's wedding in a, in my, um, friend's wedding binder. So I don't need to budget for those days. So I'm thinking about dropping this down to $50 a day. So that would be 50 times 10, which would be 500. And I'm almost at that. So I think I'm going to make my new goal here to be 500. And then I'm going to make my new goal for fun, which is like entertainment. I think I'm going to make that 450. So still trying to save the same amount, but moving which categories that money will go towards. I hope that makes sense. So now by adding $30 for my Texas trip, I do have $1,435 saved for this trip. The goal is a little over 2,000. So we are making it. And that is all we are stuffing in big blue today. The last two envelopes that we're gonna stuff are in my cash envelopes. Um, I am proud to say that I have not spent money out of all of them, but I did spend some money out of clothing. I went home to visit my family, needed some long sleeve shirts, found some on sale, so did buy that, but that was a need. And then I did bring Colin home a gift, so I spent money out of his envelope. Um, but I think everything else pretty much remained untouched, which was good. And then gas today we are adding to, so we're gonna do $13. So we'll do a 10 and three ones. Let's do the work, not the worst ones. So if we add those in, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 dollars in gas. I just felt like I wanted enough to have a reasonable amount to fill up my car in case I need it. So now I'm good at stuffing gas. I'm not going to stuff it anymore for my side hustle incomes. And then I'm going to also stuff self care because I do have a haircut at the end of the month. So we are going to put $20 in there. And now we have 2041 in here. And I don't know where these mystery $2 came from. So we are just going to put them with the rest of my extra cash that I keep at home. This is just if I have any money I need to take back towards the bank, I kind of put it in this little envelope. So I have some 20s there now. So we're just gonna add these here because I don't know where else they go. So they just go like this in my safe and I will take them to the bank at some point. So that is it today. My take home pay was $73. So I will go into my September budget and just go ahead and put that it was 73. I did make a change again because of the ones fiasco. So 73 this week. Um, and that is it for today, y'all. I am working on some, bringing some new fall colors to my shop. Um, I will be introducing those soon so be on the lookout for that um, i'm also thinking about simplifying my offerings on my shop um, just to help speed up some production um, timelines so might be making some pretty big changes um, the last bit of the year just to um, you know keep up with what my workflow looks like and keep things coming to you all in a timely fashion so also working on my digital planner um, to sell because y'all are asking me about it all the time. I promise I'm working on it. I'm just trying to re remove, like to change the layout so it's more customizable for you. So I am working on an undated version of that and I will let you know as soon as it's in my shop for purchase. So thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.